back. Today I'm reviewing the Sigma Dry and Shape Towers and this is actually a newer design. They had an older design of a Dry and Shape product but this is much fancier and it holds a lot more brushes. So that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. The whole point of the Dry and Shape line is to shape the bristles of your brushes as they're drying. That way they are back to their original shape once they are completely dry. Because you know sometimes when you wash a brush, especially like a goat hair brush, any real hair brush, when you wash it, if you just lay it there to dry, then what it's going to do is kind of just go whoof and fluff out and not be in its original shape. Therefore it's not going to work as good as you want it to. My favorite blending brush of all time for the eyes is the Sigma E25, but if I don't lay something on top of the bristles to flatten it out while it's drying, it puffs out, like it dries puffy. Now think of it like the hair on your head. If you just let it air dry, it's gonna kinda be a little poofy, a little frizzy, but if you use a blow dryer to direct the hair a certain direction, then it's going to be a lot flatter, a lot smoother, and the same thing goes with the bristles of your brushes. I have two of the towers to show you. This one is for the eye brushes, and as you can see on the bottom tier, there are these little elastic holders, and this is what shapes the bristles as they're drying. And as you can see here on the top tier, there is nothing to shape the bristles, but the little compartments will are perfect for holding your angled brushes, flat brushes, eyebrow brushes, spoolies, things of that nature, things that don't really need to be shaped while they're drying. But on the bottom tier with the little shaping elastics, this is where you're gonna wanna put your pencil brushes and your blending brushes. The eye tower holds a total of 48 brushes. And so if you have 48 eye brushes to wash all at one time, you're gonna have plenty of room to put them on here and let them dry. Not only that, but it's kind of cute. Like anybody that has a makeup room, it's your makeup room is white and pink basically. Like look at my room, it's white and pink. And so this matches perfectly. So I love that. I love the design of this. It's just cute. I also have this big old honker right here. This is the face and eye tower. And the cool thing about these is if I wanted to, I could actually take the eye tower apart and stack it on top of this one to make like a triple or quadruple tier tower. And so if you only have room for one, you can stack them on top of each other, which is really cool because they just unscrew. And so you can put the smaller tower on the bigger tower. It's pretty cool. Now this one holds 44 brushes, but it does hold face brushes. You can see the little um, elastics on this one are much bigger than on the eye brush tower. Now, if you are like me and you have hundreds of brushes, then you'll need two towers or even three. They have three options of towers, three different sizes. But if you are a normal person and you don't have an ungodly amount of brushes, then I would recommend getting this tower. It has the eye section up top for your little brushes and like your concealer brushes. And then this section down on the bottom will hold all of your face brushes. I posted a picture and a little video clip the other day on my Twitter and Instagram of these little guys right here. And a lot of people were actually asking, can you use this for any brushes other than Sigma brushes? And yes, absolutely, you can use, you don't even have to use Sigma brushes with this. Like if you look at my arrangement here, I have Zoeva, Morphe, Sigma, Real Techniques, Elf, uh, more Sigma, some Morphe brushes. You can use any brand of brushes with this. It Because of the different sizes of the little compartments here and the different sizes of the elastics that shape the bristles, you can fit any type of brush in here. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I don't use strictly Sigma brushes. They are my favorite, but that's not all I use. I use a ton of different brands. It makes me really happy that you can use this with any brand of brush that you have. It doesn't have to be Sigma. The other night I washed all of these brushes and loaded them up in here for the first time and so I just want to show you what it looks like when they come out. This right here is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki and so I'm just going to pop that out and you can see that the bristles have been dried to perfection. Look at that. That is exactly what this brush is supposed to look like. Now one thing that I did notice about the face brushes in particular is they did not dry faster by being in this device, but they did dry correctly. The eye brushes, on the other hand, they did dry faster because they are being held upside down. When you dry your brushes upside down, the water is going to run downward thanks to gravity. Now the eye brushes in the eye tower, they do dry more quickly when they are in the little shaping elastics. They do dry much more quickly like that, even quicker than the ones that are on the top tier and are not in elastics. So a quick demo on how to use the towers. You take the brush butt in first and you stick it upward through the elastic until the bristles are completely in the elastic and completely enclosed in it. You pull the brush completely through like so, there it is. And then the signature Sigma Snap technology 
is going to lock the brush in place right there. See that? Completely locked in place, held still, so it's not going to come out of the elastics while it's drying. And here is the face brush tower. You can see they're all snug as a bug in a rug. I'm not really much of a gadget person, but there are so many interesting and cool, useful things that have been coming out. So I'm really happy to be trying out a bunch of new stuff to let you guys know about. When it comes to products like this, I'm very stubborn. I'm very resistant to change. Um, I don't like gimmicky things. I don't like things that aren't going to be 100% useful. If it's just something that's like, you know, it's going to be popular for 10 minutes and then everybody's going to forget about it. That's not the kind of thing that I'm into. But because I have so many brushes, because I like to keep them nice and clean, this is extremely useful for me. If you have brushes, take care of them, regardless of whether or not they are inexpensive or luxury brushes, take care of them. And this is just another way to take care of your brushes. Having something like this is just really handy. It's just, it makes life easier. So I do like this. This is definitely a love it product. I can recommend this to anybody that has any amount of brushes. Of course, these will be linked down in my description bar below. Um, I'm lucky enough to be affiliated with Sigma, and so I get to try cool stuff like this all the time, let you guys know ahead of time before you buy what I think of these. So hopefully you value my opinion, and that's why you're here in the first place. So they will be linked below, and if you want 10% off of these dry and shape towers, as well as anything else you want to buy from Sigma, I will have the coupon code down below as well. If you're going to buy from Sigma, don't pay full price. Get that 10% off, because... Every penny counts these days, I'm just saying. So that is going to do it for my review today, you guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful. And please leave video requests in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye!